Hello. Lots to get our teeth into again this week for the Met Office 10 day trend. Big changes are afoot. We've already started to see the changes where I am in the southwest of England with some heavy downpours developing. Elsewhere, those downpours becoming more widespread during Thursday and Friday, replacing the very warm sunshine that most of us have seen so far this week. The downpours, though, are not set to last too long. There's a bit of uncertainty about exactly when and where they pull away, but uh, it does look drier for most of us again at the weekend, and uh, some of us will have a return to sunny skies as well. Next week, well, it's all to play for. A bit of a battleground going on. Most likely scenario at this stage is high pressure will dominate, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. First of all, though, not a lot of uncertainty about the next couple of days, except perhaps in the exact position of the heavy and thundery downpours that we see from this low pressure system. It comes in and it sits across the country during Thursday and Friday. So replacing that blue sky that many of us have seen through the first half of the week and also replacing the very high temperatures. That low will bring showers to all areas. In some places, the potential for some pretty vicious thunderstorms, actually. There are Met Office yellow warnings in place. For more details on those, visit the website or check out the app. And obviously, uh, it's going to be cooler without as much sunshine around. Although still for many, temperatures will be above average, eventually turning more cool, particularly by night as we head into the weekend. Let's look at that then, because beyond Friday, things do start to get a bit messy. This low pressure system moves in and then slowly pulls away through the weekend. Uh, there could be some heavier rain on this weather front still into Saturday across Scotland. But for most, the showers ease off and it becomes drier thanks to high pressure. But there is still low pressure down to the southwest, so still a bit of a, a scrap going on. But the isobars are opening up, so most places... Light winds and fine weather for a good chunk of the weekend. The uncertainty actually stems not really from these two uh, weather systems, but actually from this area of low pressure way up to the northwest. Looks like a fairly benign uh, low pressure system in terms of affecting the UK. But if we rewind the fun, uh, we can actually see that this low pressure system is currently... A hurricane. Hurricane Larry out in the Atlantic heading towards Bermuda. It's likely to veer away, however. It will bring some large waves and swell to Bermuda, but thankfully the worst of the conditions from this storm not expected to affect land. It may well drift up towards the extreme east of Canada into the weekend. As it does so, it transitions from a hurricane to a more typical area of low pressure. But it is important because it drags with it a lot of warmth, a lot of energy, and it interacts with the jet stream, pushing it to the north, creating this amplification, we call it, of the jet stream. And it's such an energetic system that it will have quite a significant impact. And because it's got to undergo that transition from hurricane uh, to extratropical storm, then it will also increase the uncertainty. And the knock-on effect for the UK is that the jet stream is in quite an unusual position, this highly amplified jet stream. And that's why there's uncertainty about whether the high or the low will uh, continue to control things as we go into the weekend. But at the moment, it does look as if uh, that high pressure will be the more dominant feature. As I say, uncertainty about when that first low clears away. So there'll still be some showers this weekend, but... Um, Compared to Thursday and Friday, it's looking an awful lot drier and many places will see a return of some sunny spells. It won't be as crazily warm as it has been through the first half of this week and it will be uh, cooler, especially at night after some tropical nights so far this week. What happens beyond that? Well, there's still that battle going on between the high and the low pressure as we go into the early part of next week. On the face of it, it does look as if the high will start to win out, but this low down to the south can't be ruled out. Again, depending on the exact uh, position of the jet stream and how things interact with Hurricane Larry. In fact, for much of next week, it looks like we're going to see this battleground between high pressure to the northeast, but also high pressure down to the southwest, the Azores high, and then two lows squeezing in as well. One bringing warmth and the potential for further thunderstorms from the continent, but also the possibility that low pressures could drift in from the Atlantic. So it's a real scrap going on as we go through much of next week. At the moment, this high pressure is favoured, but... 
as I said, there is quite a bit of uncertainty, as you'd expect this far ahead. We're looking six, seven days ahead now. Now, to amplify, amplify the uncertainty, here's the ECMWF computer model run. Looking at next Tuesday, the last two runs, the two most recent runs. Now, the one from yesterday actually has high pressure. The high pressure building in from the northeast, quite cool. That's why we've got the green colours here, hence why it's not going to be as warm as it has been early this week, but predominantly dry. The most recent run of the European model, certainly the deterministic model run, when we just look at the, the main model, has a different scenario. And these are just two model runs, one after another. So showing the uncertainty, the high in this one is much further north, and this one has the low coming up from the south and the warm air returning and bringing a much wetter look across the UK for next Tuesday. So quite a bit of uncertainty in the deterministic models, but I want to show you this chart now because this, I don't show these uh, that often on the 10 day trend, but obviously that's just looking at when we run the computer model once, the deterministic run. What's more useful looking at the longer range forecast is running the computer models many, many times. And that's what we do uh, with all the computer model runs. Again, this is the EC one, the European model. And this in particular graph is for the geopotential height at 500 hectopascals. Don't worry too much uh, about the jargon. It's basically looking at a slice of the atmosphere around about five and a half kilometers up. And the higher we are up on the y-axis, uh, the higher the pressure is likely to be. The lower it is, the lower the pressure. And the, the dotted line here is the deterministic model, the one that we've just seen. And you can see that that's quite low as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, indicating that low pressure system is more likely to come in with a lot of showers around. However, when we run the model lots and lots of times, you can see that actually that dotted line is at the bottom of the spread. And actually most of the computer model runs are higher than that with a general trend for the pressure to be higher. So we call this an outlier. So potentially that, that deterministic run, that individual run is a bit of an outlier. And so perhaps is somewhat misleading. So this is why we run the models lots of times. A stronger suggestion then when you run the uh, models multiple times that higher pressure is more likely. So yes, a battleground. But at the moment, high pressure is more probable for not much of next week, bringing a lot of fine weather potentially. But there is that low lurking to the south that could throw up showers and they are most likely to be across the south. As I said, quite a bit of uncertainty, lots to talk about, lots to iron out over the next uh, few days, as is always the case with the 10 day trend. Uh, but make sure you're following the Met Office for the day to day detail right across social media.